This is a very, very interesting question. I'll classify it as a 700 to 750 level question. Let's get started. The median of 72, 101, 120, AB and 103 is 103. We are computing the median. So obviously the first thing that we need to check out is how many number of observations do we have? Is that number an odd number or is it an even number? Quickly count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have even number of observations. So how do we compute the median? We will write these numbers in an ascending order. Pick the third and the fourth number in the ascending order. Find the arithmetic mean of it. Three, third number plus fourth number by two is going to be the median. And that should be a 103. That's a constraint that we need to meet. Before we proceed any further, the way these numbers are written, 72, 101, 120 comes first and then a 103, A and B are plugged in between. So we will not be tempted to think that A, B is in this sequence, lies between 120 and 103. We will not be tempted at all. But what if these numbers were written this way? 72, 101, 103, A, B, 120. The known values are all in an ascending order. A and B have been written in between 103 and 120. Will we be correct? Will we be right in assuming that A and B take values that lie between 103 and 120? Please do not do that. You cannot make that unwarranted assumption unless the question mentions that this set of numbers, the way they are written is in an ascending order. Unless the question mentions that, please do not make that assumption. Having settled that, let's move on to the question. What do we need to find out? We need to find out the least possible average of A and B. So we need to find out the minimum value of A plus B divided by 2. Let's get started. What is the objective? Finding the least possible mean of A and B. What is the only constraint? The constraint is the median of these six numbers is 103. How do we compute the median for six numbers? Write the numbers in an ascending order. The middle two numbers are the third and the fourth number. The average of the third and fourth number will give us the median. How are we going to approach it? That is what makes this question really interesting. It's absolutely zero formula other than this particular idea behind it. We're going to be approaching it in an iterative fashion. Where does it start? Our objective is to find out the minimum mean for A and B. Lower the values for A and B, lower will the mean be. That's the most obvious thing that's evident from this thing. So how low can the value of A and B, A, B and B, B, of the known values, the smallest value is 72. So if I plug in values for A and B to the left of 72, less than 72, that's how low they can be. Let's find out by doing so, will the median be a 103? If it is, then let's identify how low can these values be. If it does not work out, then let's keep increasing the values of A and B one by one iteratively till we reach this constraint that the median is a 103. So we're going to be solving this question iteratively, systematically. Let's start with the first of the iteration where both A and B take values less than 72. Iteration number 1, A, B, both are less than 72. Then let's write the remaining numbers in ascending order. 102, one, sorry, 72, 101, 103 and a 120. The middle two numbers are 72 and 101. Their arithmetic mean is obviously not 103. So the median is not 103. So it's evident that keeping both A and B to the left of 72 is not going to meet the constraint. So iteration number two, what am I going to do? I'm just going to shift B one step to the right, keeping A to the left. Let's move one by one and then see whether we are reaching the median. That way, we'll pick the least possible value of A and B for which this constraint is met. So A is to the left of 72. B comes in between 72 and 101. So this is the ascending order for iteration 2. What are the middle two numbers B and 101? Now comes the question, what is the range of values that B can take? It lies between 72 and 101. The temptation is to say it's going to take values from 73 all the way up to 100. Hold on. Whoever told us that these numbers are distinct? Did the question mention that these numbers are distinct? It did not. Why should we make that unwarranted assumption? That's in fact an incorrect assumption. How low can the value of B be? B can go as low as 72. How high can the value of B be in iteration number 2? It can go all the way up to 101. Even if B took a 101, the median is going to be only 101 plus 101 by 2, which is a 101, which is not 103. Two things that, one, in this iteration 2, it's not the median. That's the gist of what we want. But the more important learning which you need to keep in mind is when you read any question, read to see whether the numbers are distinct. If they are not distinct, don't make the assumption that they are distinct. 
let's move on to iteration number 3 in iteration 3 i'll still keep a to the left of 72 i don't want to change that i want to push b one step further to the right so what we'll end up with is a 72 101 b comes in between 101 and 103 and a 120 comes to the last is the last number now the middle two numbers are 101 and 100 and b now that we have seen what happened with iteration 2 you know what values can b take b can take values that range from 101 all the way up to 103 even if it took a 103 the median is going to be only a 102 and not a 103 so iteration 3 is also trashed what is the iteration 4 keep a to the left of 72 push b further to the right so in iteration 4 we have a here 72 101 103 b comes in between 103 and 120 what are the middle two numbers 101 and 103 median certainly is not 103 push b any further to the right you'll notice that the third and the fourth number still continue to be 101 and 103 so the median is not going to be 103 pushing b any further to the right so in iteration 5 what we'll do is we have realized that neither a nor b can take values less than 72 so 72 is the smallest number if you'll have to achieve the median of 103 what we'll do is we'll push both a and b one step to the right of 72 and keep them less than 101 103 120 the middle two numbers are b and 101 b takes values that can range from 72 to 101 essentially meaning that the median cannot be a 103 now i'm going to keep these two terms this way push b to the right that's iteration number six let's go to the next slide iteration number six for us we'll have 72 a here 101 b 103 and 120 quickly go back this is what we had 72a b came to the left of 101 in iteration number 5 in iteration number 6 we are pushing it one step to the right what are the middle two numbers same 101 and b except that b can take values now ranging from 101 to 103 even if it took a 103 the median is not 103 not working iteration number 7 let's be push b further to the right 72a 101 103 b and a 120 the middle two numbers are 101 and 103 median is a 102 not a 103 push b any further to the right middle two numbers will continue to be 101 and 103 so it's not going to work iteration number eight let's push a also to the right 72 101 becomes the second number a and b become the third and fourth numbers 103 and 120 so what's going to be the median now the middle two numbers a plus b divided by 2 the arithmetic mean of a and b is going to be the median in this scenario in this iteration how low can the value of both a and b be it can be as low as 101 how high can the values of a and b be it can take values as high as 103 if each one of a and b became a 103 that's how high they can be in iteration 8 if both of them took values of 103 103 plus 103 by 2 is equal to 103 we have met the constraint that we wanted we started with values of a and b lesser than 72 we pushed one by one to the right the first iteration in which we could meet the constraint is when both a and b took values of 103 there's the least possible value that both a and b can take to meet the constraint that the median is 103 so what is going to be the least possible arithmetic mean of a and b that is going to be equal to 103 to solve this question we'll quickly recap it it's going to be a two two and a half minute recap if you've got a handle of this question at this point quit this video at this point go to the next one but if you think you would like to recap it just go with it in the next two minutes we'll quickly recap it with a printed version of whatever i've written start with iteration number one in iteration number one both a and b take values less than 72 this is iteration number one doesn't matter what iteration number it is so a and b are less than 72 the middle two numbers are going to be 72 and 101 median is not 103 iteration number two we are moving b one step further to the right so middle two numbers are b and 101 the max possible value for b in this iteration is a 101 even if it took that the median is not a 103 iteration number three we're going to be pushing b further to the right keeping a to the left of 72 so it's a 72 101 and b are the middle two numbers the largest possible value of b in this iteration is a 103 even in that case the median will only be a 102 which is not 103 so in all of these first three iterations we kept a to the left of 72 we realized that the median is not going to be a 103 next iteration we'll keep a further to the left of still to the left of 72 
push B further one step to the right. That's what this iteration is all about. So we have A72, 101, 103. B moved from this lot to this lot. The middle two numbers are 101 and 103. Median is a 102. Median is not 103 in this iteration either. We'll push B further to the right. If we push B further to the right, the middle two numbers will still continue to be 101 and 103. So median is not going to be 103. So pushing B further to the right without making any change to A is not going to achieve the result that we are looking for. Next iteration, let's push A further to the right. So A moves in between 72 and 101. So we can't keep B here. Let's start the iteration because we are looking for lowest possible values of A and B. So let's push B here. What are the middle two numbers? B and 101. We have realized that the largest value that B can take in this iteration, so 101, it lies between 72 and 101. So it cannot be anything more than 101. The median is going to be only a 101, even in that instance. It's not a 103. Let's push B further to the right. A lies between 72 and 101. B lies between 101 and 103. Largest possible value of B in this case is a 103. Median is only a 102, which is not 103. So where are we right now? We, till this iteration, we had A to the left of 72. Beyond that, we pushed A one step further to the right. We still haven't got what we wanted. But one thing, we are pushing A and B as slowly, from as low a value as possible. We are not looking at jumping to the conclusion in a hurry. It's more of the next iteration. We'll push B further to the right. This is what that iteration is going to be. 72A, 101, 103, B and 120. Middle two numbers are 101 and 103. Median is a 102. It's not 103. Not working. Pushing B any further to the right, middle two numbers will continue to be 101 and 103. So keeping A in between 72 and 101 is not working. The next iteration, let's push A one step to the right. Bring B along with it. So middle two numbers are A and B. The median is the arithmetic mean, the average of these two numbers, A plus B by 2. In this iteration, both A and B can take values ranging from 101 to 103. They can be as low as 101, they can go as high as 103. When both take values which are 103, the median will end up becoming 103. That's the least value of A and B for which we met the constraint. So least possible average of A and B is when A takes 103 and B also takes a value of 103 and the minimum mean at that point is a 103. This question can be solved only using the iteration process. You could possibly cut down few steps if you realize that it cannot be less than 70, both cannot be less than 72. If those are things that you realize, you probably would not have to iterate eight steps. You might bring the iteration down to four or five steps or sometimes to even three steps. But iteration is the only way of solving these questions. So keep this in mind. Iteration is not a bad method. It's actually probably many a times a beautiful way to understand how numbers work. Whew. We covered quite a bit in this video. It's a lot of concepts to cover in one single video. Time it took a break. Use the break for two things. One, subscribe to this channel. And two, sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable GMAT Quant course that's available online at gmat.vizaco.com.